Think you did a good job scrubbing away all those germs after the flu? Think again. Germs are lurking everywhere. With a cleaning expert and a black light, CBS 11 shows you how to get rid of those germs and why too much cleaning may be a bad thing. Tonight at 10. They may look clean, but they could be crawling with flu germs. CBS 11 uncovers the most overlooked flu carrying items inside your house next. It may look clean, but it can be covered with germs. The dirty details tonight will take a black light to things that we all use every day. What we found and how it can help you from catching the flu. Pretty much doesn't matter where you got it from, right? You got it. The bugs germs, though, we know are pretty much everywhere. But how much are we contributing to our own chances of getting sick? CBS 11's Arzo Dost sheds a little light on the dirty details. TV remotes, cell phones, keyboards, we all touch them over and over every day. It may look clean, but it can be covered with germs. Think of the bottom of your purse or light switches around the house. Germs have been found all over light switch plates, especially during flu season. Flu germs can live on surfaces up to 48 hours. Debbie Sardone is a cleaning guru. The owner of Buckets and Bows Maid Service shows us how easy it is for the virus to spread. You can see things that aren't there. She uses glow germ, tiny particles that simulate germs. Just look at what this black light picks up. If this were the flu virus, it could easily cling to the next person. No matter how clean a surface looks, it does need to be cleaned regularly and especially during the flu season. And when it's wiped down with a Clorox wipe, it's a whole lot better. Even the washing machine isn't immune to germs. Even though the germs will be killed in the hot dryer, if it's contaminated, putting it into the washing machine means you need to wash your hands after handling that wet load. Sardone says wash your clothes in hot water and use a little bit of bleach. Hey, buddy. Scott Nelson is a dad and knows all about yucky stuff. Baby Logan is just two months old and dad doesn't want a sick, up all night and unhappy infant. And that starts with clean bottles. Boil those on the stove at least a couple times a week. He's constantly spraying, wiping down, and then doing it all over again and again. When things are clean, it, at least it makes me feel like we're limiting their exposure. You need to disinfect the things that those fingers and hands have been touching. Sardone says clean those contact points several times a week to minimize the spread of the flu, especially if someone in your home has been sick. Arzo Dost, CBS 11 News. And here's one other thing on Arzo's story. Sardone says too much cleaning, that can be a bad thing. If you overclean, she says, with harsh chemicals regularly, you can create a super bacteria, killing the weakest germs, but leaving the strongest ones behind. She recommends doing a basic cleaning pretty much on a daily basis, but then during flu season, crank it up a little bit, maybe introduce bleach-based products where it's appropriate in the home. Be careful with the kids, obviously, and the pets. Always such a good idea. Yeah.